Hello friends, welcome back. We have been learning a lot of content on the Harmony OS and we also learned how to use DevEco Studio. I hope that you are now familiar and you can now understand how do you test your system with the installation has gone proper or not. The Hello World experiment has been also done and I believe that it's all understandable. Now it's time for us to understand more on the app part of it. This session is going to be the app fundamentals. It's very easy and interesting. If you see, it's a package. So that's how you need to understand. This is the app package and the Harmony OS app package is released as .app. .app is similar to .apk in Android. So whenever you release an app from Harmony OS, you call it as .app app. It is not .apk like Android. Instead, it is .app. It will have multiple components inside and the first one that you can see right away in front of you is pack.info followed by .hap files. You can see there is entry.hap, feature a.hap, feature b.hap, feature d, feature c.hap, likewise it is going. Now it will have the hap package which is called as Harmony OS Ability Package, HAP, Harmony OS Ability Package and it can be one or more. We have got one or more HAP packages based on what you do. So you'll have multiple HAP packages, could be one or more as I told you. Also, there is something called as pack.info, which will describe the attributes of each of these HAP files. Please understand, the pack.info file is very, very important. It will describe the attribute of each of the HAP file. Whatever HAP file you are having, entry.hap, feature a.hap, feature b.hap, whatever you have, we are going to get it clearly described by pack.info. It is compiled and generated by the IDE. With this file, with this pack.info file, the application market will unpack the package and store the HAP files by category. Please understand pack.info is very important. Now, the HAP files are used to deploy abilities. Please remember, we have already discussed what is ability. There are two types of abilities that I already introduced you with. One is PA which is called particle ability. Another one is FA which is called as feature ability. The particle ability supports background task processing and data access. Feature ability provides UI for user interaction. I repeat, particle ability is for background task processing and data accessing. Feature ability provides you UI for user interaction. So we need to remember these two and the HAP files are used to deploy these kind of abilities. So we need to understand that the entire package is called .app package, which is called as Harmony OS app package. Please remember, this is .apk in Android. Well, we have got more components to be learned here. The first one in the list is HAR, followed by that we will learn entry.hap and feature.hap. I have explained you what is ability, so let's not go into it detail now. Now what is HAR? HAR is Harmony OS Ability Resources. Everything starts with Harmony here. Harmony OS Ability Resources will provide you all the content, all the content required for building the app, which can include the source code, the resource files, the config.json file, which we will talk about. So you can see that the HAR is going to give you everything that is required to get the app completely built. Now. We have got entry.hap. What is it? The name itself is specifying. When it is entry, it is going to be the main module of the app. For the same type of devices, each app will have only one entry.hap file and it can be installed and run independently. Remember, it is the main module. It is the entry as you can see by the name. And for same type of devices, each app will have only one entry.hap file and it cannot be duplicated and it can be installed and run independently. What is the next thing? The next thing is feature. The feature.hap is very, very important where feature.hap will be like each application can have more than one feature.hap file. That's what you are seeing right in front of you. We have got feature a.hap, feature b.hap, feature c.hap, something like that. So it is more than one. We can have more than one feature.hap files and only the feature.hap files that contain abilities can run independently. Remember, whichever feature.hap files have got the abilities, they can run independently. Please remember this point. So we have got entry.hap, we have got feature.hap 
and there can be multiple features dot app and you can have as many as you want and please understand a very important point HAR is Harmony OS ability resources which is going to get you the complete structure complete content for you to build the app which includes source file the source codes the resource files and config.json files and the next thing that we need to learn is the library files the name tells it very clearly library files could be the third party code your app could be dependent on some of the third party apps some of the third party content and they are coming under this category they are nothing but the binary files so dot so dot jr dot bin and dot hire are all stored in this libs category i mean they come under the library category and we have got something called as resources file you could see that here this resources files are very very important and the app resource files it can be string it can be images it can be audio files are all coming under this category and they will all be stored in this resources directory and you can easily access them whenever you want and you can manage maintain them right the next one is very very important which is nothing but the configuration file the configuration file is a config.json file here it is the configuration file of an app it will be very helpful and it is the one which can help you in declaring the abilities of the app and permissions required by the app we need to learn more about it it's actually a very important content you can see the way the tree has been structured where we have got config.json highlighter the config.json file has various information but out of which which is very important is going to be listed here it has got the global configuration information of the app which could include the bundle name the vendor the version details so we've got a lot of details but i'm highlighting the most important ones also it has got the configuration information of the app on a specific type of devices and backup network security configuration everything comes in into picture the configuration information of the app file including the basic attributes that must be defined for each ability as well as the permissions required by the app to access the protected part of the system or another app will also come in here overall to convey you in a very simple manner it has got the complete details of the configuration which can include a lot of information which are very essential it could be connected to the backup it could be connected to the network security it could be connect connected to the fundamental information like the bundle name vendor version details it can be everything so we have got this configuration file with a lot of useful info and there is something more that you need to learn which is called a resources and inside resources you can see that here we have got element graphic layout media profile many many things are there many things that are very important for you to learn are here now when you go about element it supports boolean color float int array integer pattern plural string array string so what do you mean by that very simple we have got support for all these with our resources so the element can be boolean can be color can be float can be int array so we have got support for everything and media indicates the media resources which can be images audios or videos so we have got the media completely coming in into this section where we have got the images audio and video you can really learn this very easily provided you have installed the devico studio and animation gets the content here inside this animation category you can see that all these are listed here very clearly element graphic layout media profile so you can start going through one by one and you will be able to understand a layout is nothing but the layout resources which will be very helpful for you to decide the layout and you can get it in the xml format the layout content is here the graphic is again in xml format the file name again can be customized don't worry about the file names you can customize the file name as per your wish you can make it like notifications underscore dark you can make it like home underscore layout for layout you've got multiple options available there and customizable options are also given to you and profile is nothing but indicates the other types of files which are in the raw format and this name also can be customized so overall if you see we have got a lot of content to learn today about the app fundamentals it starts with this where the package is called dot app package it has got app files entry dot app feature dot app pack info it has been discussed then we went to the library then we learned what is config dot json and then we went to resources so all these have been covered in this session i hope it was useful in case you have any questions please type it in the chat box i'll be happy to answer thank you